Kenya is quickly embracing snail farming as an alternative to other forms of agriculture with snails increasingly seen as a potential source of food as well as income for farmers. At the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, that's JQUAT, a team of scientists is taking it a step further, harvesting snail slime and using it to make skin products. Edward Chair visited JQUAT and tells us the story in our Made in Kenya segment. In this lab at Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology Department of Agriculture and Food Security, Dr. Paul Kinoti and his team are busy. This team is specializing in unconventional farming methods, focusing on snail farming and its benefits. Our focus is how we can make use of snails, which traditionally are considered by Kenyans abhorred. We do cosmet cosmetics and uh, body skin care products such as uh, soaps, creams, and shower gel. We are also focusing on a research on pharmaceutical, where we are developing a product with our partners on what we call the cough syrup. Dr. Kinoti uses snail slime to make these products. Here, he is railing the giant African land snails, which he says are classified as wildlife and have been approved by the Kenya Wildlife Service. So we use a simple method which involve use of uh, deionized water or distilled water, and we use citric acid. From this, we are able to treat the snails by washing them, and then from there we are able to preserve it, either by freezing or we can use a preservative. Each snail is expected to generate four milliliter of slime per day, times two. So we are talking of 8 ml per day. According to the standards for an effective cosmetic for the, sli for the snail slime, at least 60% of the slime must be pure. And so the other ingredients will be about 40%. Our product also involve uh, addition of a sunscreen and we are using zinc oxide which is compatible. We also add other ingredients like olive oil. Perhaps you are wondering why snail slime and not other raw material. Dr. Kinoti says through research, snail slime has been found to have positive effects on human skin. It has collagen, and collagen is known to make the skin supple. It also moisturizes and it has anti-aging effect. It's able to remove dead cells. It is also antibacterial, so it has been associated with healing of wounds and burns. It's organic and people are running away from use of chemicals. JQuad tested the products as the market dictates, and Dr. Knoti says the response was positive. One is the people who have a skin issue, that is people who are considered albinis, uh, people with albinism, because of the effect of the UV. And the response was very good. The other group is the students. We tried to each, uh, distribute some of the product and we got the response. The response was fantastic. Going forward, Dr. Knoti says the aim is to change perception about snail slime products among their target customers and encourage more people to get into snail farming. We expect that we will slowly be trying to change people's perception towards accepting this product. Economically, I look forward to see a future where the youths can be able to embark in this particular activity, generate income and of course address the issue of unemployment. Most people love snails, but as researchers have found, snails have benefits and one of the benefits is their slime. And as Dr. Paul Kinoti says, they are now turning snail slime into useful products such as this snail cream here, which are helping people improve their skins or for those people who have skin conditions and they want to treat them. Edward Chair, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.